Hope you're having a good Wednesday, and thanks for logging on to your AccuLand Carpet One forecast. I'm meteorologist Crystal Plone. This morning we saw temperatures in the upper 50s and the low 60s. Now we're dealing with them in the upper 80s and the low 90s. It's 87 degrees in Bryan College Station, 90 in Cameron, 90 as well in Brenham, and 91 degrees in Crockett. Normal high for the day is 82, so we're all above that, but our record high for the day is 95 degrees. We could get very close to tying that record today, so let's just keep an eye on that and see how close we can actually get. Now, winds are a little bit out of everywhere, but they're mostly out of the southeast between 5 to 10 miles per hour. They're going to continue like that through the day today. Normally, southeasterly winds will help to increase moisture in the atmosphere, so Today, they're going to work just a little bit, but not enough to notice a big difference. Dew points right now are a little bit scattered, but mostly in the upper 30s and the low 40s. Some spots, though, seeing dew points a little bit lower. That means we do have a lot of dry air still overhead right now. Thanks to that, we do have another elevated fire risk today. So here are what your burn bands look like for now. Keep an eye on these if you are in a county in orange. Take those extra burning precautions. Maybe don't burn anything at all just because that risk is a little bit higher today. So again, just keep up with burn bans. Make sure you're taking all of those fire precautions. Now here's your water vapor image. It's another picture just showing you how dry the air is outside. All the orange color represents dry air in the atmosphere and all that's sinking in, covering almost the entire state. So there is a whole lot of dry air overhead, which will cause things to not actually feel as hot as you think they would. So we're seeing 80 degree temperatures basically around the entire state of Texas. It's 87 degrees in Abilene, 88 in San Antonio, and 82 degrees in Midland. Thanks to this dry air, we aren't going to feel humid. You're just going to feel a very dry heat, so something very similar to what you would feel maybe in a desert like region. Across the United States, not seeing a whole lot of weather at all. Maybe a little bit of rain in the northeast, but other than that, not too bad. High pressure is definitely in control of not only the state of Texas weather, but basically the entire country. So here's what things look like through the rest of your day today. We'll see temperatures work up into the mid-90s, getting close to that record temperature. We'll have to see what happens there. But overall, things won't feel too bad. Not expecting really any cloud cover either. It'll be very warm today. And that'll lead into another cold morning seeing temperatures not quite in the mid 50s but I would suspect the upper 50s and low 60s once again warming back up tomorrow afternoon into the low to mid 90s so we're going to do it all over again for your Thursday maybe a little bit more moisture as you head into the latter half of your day but you really won't notice that moisture change until Friday today hot and dry 94 degrees plenty of sunshine to go around that's the case for the next week or so Friday again when you're going to notice that humidity difference but right when you do a Another cold front works its way through the Brazos Valley. That won't give us any rain, but instead it will give us more dry air and it will also give us mid to upper 80s. So hopefully we won't see 90 degrees for that Alabama game on Saturday. At the moment, it looks like temperatures are trending a little bit lower. By Tuesday, we could see an isolated shower and long range models think we could see a little bit of rain on Wednesday. But again, that's eight days out from now. Get definitely going to have to keep an eye on the forecast and just hope that we can see some rain. For now, though, dry air, warm temperatures, get outside and enjoy it. Maybe put on some lotion on your hands since it is a little bit dry, but have a good rest of your Wednesday.